Hello everyone, Bianca here. Not on my usual channel. I'm on Casey Mark, my husband's channel, uh, because of the nature of uh, this video. I've been asked a few question by, questions, by many questions actually, by a fellow YouTube user by the name of Clarkin Philosopher. Or um, actually, Clarkin Apologist. He made a video in a typical Hellenistic Socratic method, asked many questions and I shall attempt to answer maybe a few in this particular video. I will attempt to come back to answer the rest. Uh, my husband, Casey, uh, shall uh, answer for himself his particular questions in the near future. But here I am. Let's listen to the Clarkian. Question number one it has a few points. Stick through it. start from the end. Is God himself logical? Well, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 tells us that God is not the author of confusion. He's not irrational, my dear. No Christian would ever assume or think we know better because such as Proverbs 30 verse 5 tells us that every word the Lord is pure, pure, you know, the straight paths of the Lord. God's mind is not confused, it's rational. Nobody, being a Christian, would ever question that. Now, getting to part number two, are men like Van Teel insane? Actually, all men are insane. That's what the Bible teaches. Fallen man and his dark mind is insane. That's what the word says. Now, even the elect prior to being regenerated were, as Colossians put it, alienated from God and enemies in their minds because of their evil behavior. Fallen man's mind is all madness, my dear. All, not just Van Teels. All madness. Contrary to what Mr. Gordon Clark teaches, Ecclesiastes 9, verse 3, says that this is the evil in everything that happens under the sun, the hearts of men, heart, mind. You know the drill. The hearts of men, moreover, are full of evil, and there is madness insanity in their hearts while they live they live Genesis 8:21 post flood it happened before in Genesis 6 but a lot of people said oh well that was before the flood after no no let's go to Genesis 8 verse 21 every every inclination of his heart is evil from childhood Psalm 58 says, even from birth the wicked go astray from the womb. Speaking lies, they are wayward and speak lies. Romans 3, starting in verse 10 and on, please follow along in the Bible, says that there is no one, no one, no one. Right, not one. There is no one who understands. No one is rational. Mr. Clarkian, none, including Van Thiel, none. There's no one that understands who seeks God. All have turned away and have become worthless. 
breathless, you know, the crooked paths of the mind. Together, they have become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Yeah. From the womb, we speak lies. All, all are unprofitable. All have been alienated, including the elect. Because, see, Mr. Gordon Clark teaches an erroneous doctrine on the image of God. Mr. Apologist. Mr. Clark teaches the image of God as God created man. Good. In the garden, you know, we see the first Adam. Everything God created was good. But there was an exchange that Romans 1 speaks of. And Mr. Clark, although he says many a times that fallen man is marred, he doesn't seem to understand that fallen man, like I just quoted, is unprofitable, irrational, insane in everything he does. Um, the image of God doctrine that he teaches is um, erroneous. Let me get back to that. Getting back to the image you quoted, the image of God, which you don't seem to fundamentally understand as Mr. Clark, is that the image is not just Mark. There was an exchange, a profound exchange changed everything. Now, as I said before, God created everything good before he rested. And we see the first Adam was created in the image of God, absolutely. What Mr. Clark doesn't seem to understand is the awful exchange, as Romans 1 teaches. They exchange the glory God into, let's see, let's get into, I don't know, Revelation 13. Give me a sec. Let me grab the scripture of the exchange. He was given power to give breath. Now go back to Genesis, what God did to Adam. Now I'm quoting Revelation 13, the dragon, you know, the beast. He was given power to give breath to the image of the first beast, so that it could speak and cause all who refused to worship the image to be killed. You see, fallen man, my dear, does not have the wisdom, rationality of God. Christ is the image of God. Adam, before the fall, was the image of God. The vessel was marred, that's why. The potter makes the vessel anew. The elect are renewed into the image of God and we shall be perfected. And not even the elect are complete. We're still, you know, filthy rags along the way till we're uh, made perfect. But clearly, Gordon Clark did not understand that there are two types of images. Fallen mind, image of the beast, Revelation 13, verse 15, everyone. Now, going to Peter, 2 Peter 2, 12. Peter reinstates that, like John in Revelation. He says, but these men fallen men. Blaspheme in matters they do not understand. See, they're irrational. Like brute beasts, creatures of instinct. So much for Gordon Clark's theory that fallen man is not like a brute beast. The Bible says we are and we were, even the elect. Born only to be caught and destroyed like the beasts, they too will perish. Jude 1, 10. Again, 
Yet these men speak abusively against whatever they do not understand and what things they do not understand by instincts like unreasoning, illogical, irrational beasts, Mr. Clarkian, image of God. Now, we're going to go to Romans 1 and go through the exchange. Should you not get it by now? No. Fallen man does not have the light and the purity of the impeccable word of God. To say so is blasphemous. It's a denial of total depravity and original sin, which Mr. Clark seems to do time and time and time again. Let me quote to you, everyone, from the image and likeness of God by Gordon Haddon Clark. I'm going to post the links to these essays. Here's what Mr. Clark considered all I'm meant to be. This is page four. That's this essay. And he said, every book in the Bible describes sinful man as thinking, often thinking incorrectly, but sometimes thinking correctly. Here we go. Denial. Genesis 8. Again. Every thought and inclination. The human heart. Mind is evil. They never think correctly. Every thought. It's an absolute statement, which Mr. Clark, like the Clarkians, don't seem to get. Like the image, the fallen image, what happened after the fall, what the book of Romans chapter 1 and many other places in scriptures teach, because Mr. Clark has to peddle, like his, you know, heretical followers here on YouTube, human wisdom. And that's going to be part two of my video. I'll be right back. <laughs>